A shape hold is a region of your DNA model for which you want the shape to remain constant throughout a simulation. So unlike poses that are really curve-based shapes that you can control how closely your model will be attracted to with some of the parameters that we've given you, the shape hold is about also the orientation of the base pairs and the, and the distortion of the grooves in 3D. So to show you how that works, I'll first start with a very simple model and we can just set it up once. And then I'd like to go through an application with you of a bent region of DNA um, that we want to model based on a PDB and for which the region where the protein interacts with the DNA is something that you'd like to keep uh, constant um, despite other regions of your model remaining dynamic. So let's get started. In order to create a shape hold, you need two strand mounts. So because it's the region between the strand mounts that's going to um, that's going to have that that shape hold region. So I've just created a DNA model, scaled it up a little bit. For this, I might um, maybe switch it to surfaced and. Let's see, we'll play around a little bit with the colors, maybe something like that. Okay, so here's our DNA model. Let's add some more base pairs so we have uh, some time to run a simulation. Okay, so here's our simulation. And what I'm going to begin by doing is go to the base pair count, lock it. Again, this is something that you need to do anytime you're going to create a strand mount. And then I will add a strand mount. And let's say, move it over here. Create a second strand mount. Move it a little bit past it. Let's say over here. And now what I can do is with those two strand mounts selected, I can go to animation simulation and under, here let me collapse all of the menus so it's clear where it is. So this is under animation simulation, simulation, there's a shape hold tab and you can go ahead and click shape hold between selected mounts. So when you do that, pay attention to specifically the shape of the, of the grooves between these two areas. Right? So the strand is still moving and actually it's still deforming even within b between those two, but the, um, the shape of the helix between them remains much more controlled than around it. So if you had a region where you wanted to not only have the shape of the helix stay pretty, pretty constant, but also the grooving stay constant, you would not only want to set up a shape hold, but what you could also do is uh, use the um, the pose curve attraction setup to do that. So, in fact, let's let's do that. Let's bring down this value. And normally, what I would do is maybe measure the exact. You know, I'd go to this shape mount. I'm sorry, this strand mount. Look at the base pair uh, number and I might put it here as the position um, so that I know that I'm exactly holding this sequence, but I'm, I'm just going to eyeball it here so that I, I have a region that is roughly in the center of my strand for which I have um, a high degree of uh, attraction. I'm gonna move this up so that now when I simulate, not only will the shape uh, stay constant. I, I let this go a little bit too much here. So maybe let's move these up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now we have a combination of the shape hold and the curve attract leading to this area of the helix staying pretty, pretty um, constant in its shape. Okay, so with that demonstration, actually what I could do is let's let's look at uh, it may the, the the effect that that has may be even more obvious if I turn on use dynamic vector up. 
Let's see what happens. Because with use dynamic vector up, as you know, twists over or, um, turns that occur in the helix try to get propagated throughout the model. So in this case, even though, again, the whole model may be twisting a little bit, the grooving is not changing. You're not getting extensions of the major or minor groove in the same way that you see over here and over here. Okay, and then again, if that's not totally clear, what I can go is um, go back to that current hold, click on it, and go ahead and remove it. Actually, this may be off the recording screen. Let me see if I can get that on the screen for you. Here we go. So if I click remove and then rewind, now what we're getting is still an attraction to the curve in this region, but the grooving is, is quite a bit more uh, flexible. Uh, even more so if I reduce the post curve attract and put it back to where it was. All right, where now the strand is behaving as it would in, in the default creation options. Okay, so now let's use an example from a PDB uh, to give you a more practical sense of how you might use a shape hold when you want a region of your synthetic DNA model that is interacting with a protein to keep its shape.